choke me, choke me harder, Zeddy, choke me. <gasps> choke me, Zeddy. <gasps> choke me, choke me, choke me. <gasps> choke me. Here you go, Katie. Okay, cool. My throne is broken. I'm going to take out of hand. It's a bit busy. I'm holding this lovely paper right here. And it's just it is gone, guys. And my phone is off. So I, lucky enough, I had wrote these questions down before I edited them on my phone. I was supposed to shoot this video last week. But, hey. This has been busy and I didn't want to give you guys videos with the with the school background again. Like that's not of my thing anymore. You know? So today I am going to be doing a I don't know if this is dirty or it's just a QA, get to know me tag. You understand? The only reason why I'm doing these questions is that they are different. These are things that I've never been asked before. Like I've been asked all sorts of nasty things, but these are just some things that somebody has never really asked me before like you know even when we're getting into a relationship like i'm just asking myself like why you know anyways question number one is how do i feel about kissing in public before i answer this i am going to try to be as honest as possible so I was once in a relationship with somebody that was comfortable with kissing in public and being TLC, but I wasn't for some sort of reason. And I think that came off as in Koye, like maybe I was ashamed of her and everything. Like I'm comfortable with being lovey-dovey, like I love it, grab my ass, all that stuff. But with her, for some sort of reason, I just, I just never felt comfortable with doing it, you know, like I never felt comfortable. And I think... Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it's the environment. We usually used to meet in Toyendo. Toyendo is not my turf, guys. I am not from that side. Even this side, like where I'm at right now. I'm not comfortable with being TLC in front of these people. These people are judge. They judge, guys. They judge. They are old-fashioned like i went to toyando with yellow braids something we see every day on the tv the whole town literally was staring at me like i'm some sort of a celebrity or something for just yellow braids like a lot of people get attacked they a lot of gays get judged and and, and called out upon for just being different and dressing different i just never felt comfortable and i don't think i'll ever be comfortable around toyando like that class is just not not it. But in my home turf, in Joburg, in anywhere else, I've dated that side. I've actually been comfortable with doing it all. And I'm usually the one initiating, like, I'm always the one pouting, like, baby, kiss me and stuff like that. So I am comfortable with kissing in public if I'm in a comfortable area. One thing I just don't need is someone attacking me. I'm very, 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 very extra cautious when it comes to, you know, my safety. I don't feel comfortable in some areas where is the most adventurous place you've ever done the deed the streets it gotta be the streets i have never in my life imagined that i'll actually be nasty in the streets like what if somebody could have just popped up what if someone the car or oh, bam oh my god like streets it definitely has to be the street that's like one of the most adventurous things i've ever done and i like it i like it it's an achievement you won't understand but for me it's an achievement like okay i did that um where do you like to be kissed this i've never been asked before guys oh this i've never been asked for but i love i love neck kisses okay Forehead kisses make me feel safe. That's number one. I love those, especially when I feel vulnerable, when I'm not okay. Like, just give me a hug, a, a tight hug, in case my BS forehead. It's just gonna make me giggle or smile. And number two, I like neck kisses. They're more on some, I want you, you know, I want you, I, I want you. You safe with me, feel comfortable with me, open up to me. And I like toe kisses, but I don't like my toes kissed. I like my toes sucked. Okay, suck on those, like suck on my toes. Sorry, I had to do that. But yeah, I like my toes sucked. So 
I guess I'm gonna have to do the the forehead kisses and and the neck kiss. I don't really understand the cheek kisses though. Really, it doesn't make me blush. Like she kissed my cheek, man. No, and my lips. I love being kissed. Do you like to mess around with extreme temperatures in bed, like ice and wax? <laughs> I would like to explore that, but wax, wax, what, 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 what thing is not that fun, like, no, maybe electricity, I'm kidding, <laughs> eyes and, 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 and candle, candles, like, I, I, I always want to explore, like, drop them on my back, like, I want to feel the, you know, that is pleasurable, pain and pleasure, there's a thin line between pain, and pleasure it's very thin can you see it very thin kind of i would like to try it what kind of props do you like to use in the bed guys you could turn props props guys you all know most theater props some of them come with an umbrella and be acting funny some of them come with the whatever the props, things that you use to, to make people laugh, to, to, to put action. I would love a whip, like a whip, 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 chest down as I whoop my ass and wear handcuffs. Does handcuffs fall under toys or props? I don't know, but yeah, handcuffs too. And what else? Oh, there's a choker. There's like this choker that comes with a leash on. Like, yes, Zaddy, I will never snitch on you, Zaddy. I'll take a bullet for you, Zaddy. I'll be your little horse, Zaddy. Okay, I'll be your little bit, Zaddy. Like, yes, put me on my knee, Zaddy. Took me, Zaddy. <laughs> okay, cool. Let me relax. <laughs> I'm getting excited. What is one thing that gives you butterflies? Guys, if you really want to see me smile, like, if you really want to give me butterflies, just consistency. Like, I like me a person. I told this to Konile. Like, this girl gets excited, like, over little things. So, I, I, I cut off my hair. She's like, let me see. I sent her a picture. Guys, I wish I could play the voicemail for you guys. Like a girl was like, oh my god, ah, this is so pretty. Like, it just made me like, <laughs> stop. No, it gives me that, oh, okay. I love, I love being loved. I think I posted about it today. I love being loved. Give me attention. Give me consistency, affection. My love language is really easy. Treat me like the queen I know I am. And trust me, whenever I see you, I dare as well get butterflies, no matter what. It excites me to be with someone who excited about being with me. I don't know if it makes sense, but yeah, I get butterflies all the time when I'm around a person who really, really, really loves me. I'm like, okay. Like, I always, I'm like, I'm not the shy person, but when I'm getting compliments and the love and everything, I'm like, stop, you know? Uh, I wrote this, but I can't read it. Would you? Who would? Would you have a threesome? Eh? I think I've said this before. I always wanted to have a threesome. I remember I once when tried to convince someone that I was with to convince the girl that she was previously dating for us to have a threesome. Guys, I sound crazy when I say that. A lot of people are like, why would you want to share your partner? I don't know. I want to try it. I want to try it, possibly two stars, one firm. Bass it. You guys can see me twit. Let me get you. Bass it. Bass it. Bass it. Bass it. <laughs> Failed. Whatever. I tried. Would you dump your girl for three million? I mean, <laughs> is that a question? My sister. This is not a big question. This is the question you have. I mean, this is money we talk about. My chunk or a grimula. I'd slip my own mother for three million and then buy her a car and apologize. Hey, hey, Mel, me. You guys play too damn much. Is this a question? Three million. I'll dump your ass. I'll dump you, baby. Bye. 
Babesita, I'll dump you for three million. I swear. Yay. I'll dump you for three million and then buy you a car and a house to apologize for it. The heck? Three million, babe. You gotta understand, this is millions. This is money. I'm leaving you. Yay. Can you, yeah, can you feel? Yo, can you finger with those long nails? In my previous video, I told you guys I was asked this question. Can you clear with these long nails? Guys, these nails don't stop me from doing anything. Trust me, when the cookie is wet, the cookie is wet. It's just ready to be. You're just ready to slide in. There is no stumbling block there. I clear with these nails. I can go in, dip inside your love. Hey. Your legs start to shiver, girl. You're talking with your eyes, deep girl. I need to stop. Why am I happy? Eh. Choking or feisting? I thought it was kink. Choking or feisting? Feisting is when like the whole hand choke me. Is that it? Choke me. It's it's not even an option. Choke me. Choke me harder. Is that it? Choke me. <gasps> Choke me, Zeddy. Choke me. Choke me. Choke me. Choke me.